Hi everyone, hello. This is uh, Shivi Gowal, author on travel. Namaste from my side. Uh, I really wish uh, that your people are safe in your respective places and locations in your houses because right now it is the need of the hour. Uh, also, I would like to extend my uh, blessings and wishes and lots of happiness, loads of happiness and love to everyone out there on Chaitra Nomi. Uh, it's the end of the uh, nine days of uh, Navratri which falls uh, during this uh, season, this calendar. Uh, as per the lunar calendar, if you want to know more about the importance, the significance, how it is celebrated in different states, you can go to my YouTube channel. I keep on making a lot of uh, videos on um, festivals and incredible India videos. Um, another important point which I would like to uh, quote today, apart from my blessings and wishes to everyone, is um, what are we doing? Social media is uh, a place to put your voice and your, uh, uh, like it's a freedom of speech, right, for everyone. And currently what we all are facing in India is the second wave of COVID and it's like more than 2.5, it's like yesterday, day before yesterday it was 2.73 uh, max cases. People are dying, they don't have injections, they don't have oxygen. Their loved ones are not even getting a space to cremate. What are we doing to our nation? And what social media is doing? The celebrities are posting their Maldives and vacations in Switzerland and Mauritius pictures. Oh wow, who doesn't freaking love to travel? I would like to ask. I myself as a travel blogger, I'm here like since March, just more than a year I haven't traveled. All my pictures, if you see on my account, are backdated, they're throwback or maybe I'm putting something else. Can't you people be responsible? What are we doing? I really don't understand where the elite, the civilized, the rich, you know, they are going. Why, why don't we stay and hold back for some time and do something for everyone? See, I understand that uh, jobs are affected work is affected, people don't have money, they have lost their work, their jobs. I am one of the person, the majority of the, my work which used to come from travel writing and travel blogging has gone to zero guys. Do you really understand? Everybody is facing it, but at what cost? So the question is on what cost? It's costing lives, costing uh, our everything the entire country is getting into this black hole of COVID-19 again and we are not able to understand you must be thinking that what is bullshit uh, Shivi you are also a travel blogger yes I am a travel blogger I am being badly impacted with this I am writing my books slowly sitting at home be safe and trying to let the wisdom out and let the learning be out in form of my books and poems and poetry. I am doing my artwork and I'm trying to fetch a lot of uh, like the work from here and there which I can do sitting at home. My travel work is zero. Yes and the respected elite H&I members of our country they are spreading this vacation for events they're going here and there a lot of influencers a lot of digital influencers a lot of uh, young uh, you know uh, youngsters you know who are into this uh, tv arena and they're like they're, they're flaunting their uh, travel pictures their resorts they're traveling is it is it really nice right now can we just stop for a while and hold back it won't cost anything i myself has faced covid in family, in surroundings, at my home. Trust me guys, it is not a joke. It is not a joke. Even if it is asymptomatic and kids are the most vulnerable. Yes, trust me, don't take it as a joke. Stop for a while, become responsible, fight it, build your immunity, maintain social distancing, clean yourself. Maintain hygiene from all the basic protocols which the 
WHO and health ministry is floating. Don't believe on any other fake news and WhatsApps, messages and forwards and everything. Follow the authentic organization's reports and uh, protocols. Please follow them. Uh, all elite HNI people of our country, India, I request you people to be a little responsible. Yeah, I think itna to aap kari sakte hai, zada nahi to. So I I hope that everybody is fine in the home, and we will bring out a little more relevant information uh, on social media uh, with uh, with respect to our hands. Do whatever you want to. Keep working, keep finding work, be at home, stay at home, vaccinate yourself whenever your turn or as per the age group is coming. Take care of your immunity, build immunity in the house, take regular steam, you know. I can make a separate video of what all you can do if somebody in your place in the house is getting affected because I have faced it. You can come to me, you can DM me if you need any kind of help or understanding that you know how we have to maintain uh, like how we can isolate in our places because every home is different there are different different kind of people different kind of immunity and there can be six members there can be seven members there can be two members so with kids it becomes more tough so i really request you people that keep on doing i hope that you all shall, shall get more work spread the positivity uh, this one thing which uh, uh, which a you know professor from Oxford University I'm forgetting the name of that person has recently mentioned that to kill COVID-19 your mental strength also works if you're agitated if you're in stress if you are sad if you're disappointed the more you are that it goes so ultimately it's mind and it goes into your bloodstream so that is also affecting um, your uh, you know fight back uh, from COVID so just be happy spread more happiness and positivity but just don't spread all negative things on social media and flaunting their uh, you know the bodies and the luxurious lifestyle oh god please live a life not a lifestyle thank you so much uh, i hope uh, you will come back to me and leave your comments below on whatever you feel like i'm open for everything that's okay namaste